Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back, it's Zach. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing my empties. This is gonna be skincare, body care, and hair care. So please stay tuned so we can go over all the products. I will tell you if I plan on repurchasing the product and kind of what I thought about it. So you get a little mini review in this video of everything that I have used up. All right, first thing I'm gonna start off with is facial care or skincare. So the first thing that I emptied out here was this face wash. This is from, I believe, just the brand Anti-Blemish or it's by Truly Beauty, uh, made in the USA. It's an anti-blemish kind of for acne. It's got hemp salicylic acid. It was a jelly kind of facial cleanser texture. And you know, it has salicylic acid. I felt that this was okay. Salicylic acid is the second to last ingredient in there besides green coloring. So I would not repurchase it, but I did get it on clearance super cheap and I did like it, um, but I would not be repurchasing it. Next cleanser that I went through was the L'Oreal Paris Revitalift Bright Cleanser. This is a glycolic acid scrub. So it actually does have kind of sugar or salt inside there to give you that scrub feeling on your face, which is a physical exfoliant mixed with glycolic acid, which is a chemical exfoliant. So this is an exfoliating cleanser. I would not recommend using this every day. I would use this like once or twice a week. I did like it just because it, the glycolic does exfoliate the skin and then the the beads in there do give you a little bit of a physical exfoliation, which, which can be nice at times. I would tell you that I repurchased it, except I was at the store today and realized that this went up $3. This used to be $5.79 and now it's $8.59. So I'm probably not gonna be repurchased. Cleanser was also by L'Oreal. It's the L'Oreal Ideal Clean Gentle Cleanser. This one is 6.8 fluid ounces, so a little bit bigger. This is a pretty basic cleanser. It doesn't have physical or chemical exfoliants. It just is uh, kind of a foaming cleanser. I liked it. It did feel like it cleaned my skin. It says that it's a gentle cleanser, which I do agree. This one was just kind of an in the middle. I'm not, you know, ecstatic to go out and repurchase it, but I did like it. So if I could get this on a good price, I would definitely. Recommend. Next cleanser was the Garnier Green Labs Brightening Gel Wash. This has pineapple, vitamin C. Now this one says that it's for oily skin. I really did like this. Now this does have fragrance. It smells pretty good. It's a wash off product. So you don't have to worry really about it impacting your skin or bothering your skin because you're washing it right off. But I did actually really like this product. Just like the way that it felt on the skin. I liked the way that it cleansed the skin. It was a very kind of gel consistency. And I really did like this. As far as the pineapple vitamin C brightening effect, I mean, it's a wash off product. So I don't expect really expect results from any of that stuff. So just kind of putting that aside, I would recommend that you give this a try. It's quite small, 4.4 fluid ounces. I would repurchase this, I liked it. They also have in this line a watermelon one, which is supposed to be more milky. And then they have a third one. And um, that one is hemp and I've used that one. I, I like all, the entire line. I think it's pretty good. The last facial cleanser, it was just, it was just that time of the year, you know? L'Oreal Paris Revita Lift. Derm Intensives 3.5 Pure Glycolic Acid Cleansing Gel. Now this one is 6.7 fluid ounces. I feel like it would be so much easier for L'Oreal just to have one size, like six ounces or something, because they have to have all these different packages for each of these products and that's costly. Like just cross the board, change the label of course, but anyway. This I have used for years and I do really like it and the price has gone up unfortunately year over year, but it is a really great product. The glycolic acid doesn't bother me. It doesn't oversensitize me. It just exfoliates the skin. So I do recommend this. I do really like it. I will be repurchasing it at some point in the future. All right, let's get into something more. Oh, one more cleanser. One more cleanser. This is the Sephora Melting Cleansing Balm. Now this is from the actual Sephora line. It comes in a pretty big jar. I believe this is, yeah, 4.22 ounces. I've used all of it. It's like a green color. I will be repurchasing this during the Sephora fall sale, which will be either late October or early November of 2024. They have it twice a year, spring and fall. So really, I only recommend that you pick stuff up from the Sephora line during their sale because it's 30% off whether you are a Sephora member or not. You can just walk in, sign up and get 30% off. So you don't have to be in a sort of spend tier and 30% is a it's good, you know, and this is already pretty cheap. Love it. It's a cleansing balm. It takes off your makeup, your sunscreen, your waterproof stuff gently, and then you go in with your cleanser after that. Check some of my nighttime skincare videos to see how I use different cleansing balms, but this has been one of my favorites. 
made in France, which I do appreciate. Great quality, I totally recommend it. Next up is a serum. This is the Skin Revolution 12.5% Vitamin C. Now, I took me a while to get through this. I like the packaging. It's a pump, it's a glass bottle. So it's good quality there. The product itself, got nothing left, but I wanted to try to just show you. Comes out um, orange. It leaves the skin with a little bit of a nice glow, but it's not overly dewy. It, it softens the skin too. Vitamin C is a great ingredient, but it's very hard to source and it's very hard to formulate. So a, an affordable skincare like Revolution, they're also a makeup brand. I don't have a lot of confidence that their vitamin C is really formulated to do the most for me, but I thought it was an okay product. I'm not gonna read that. A moisturizer, I kept the box because I have to show you guys this. So this is from the brand Simple. It's their Sensitive Skin Water Boost Skin Quench Sleeping Cream. This is what it looks like. Comes in a little jar, guys. Guys, I paid $2.99 for this. That's crazy. I loved the way that this felt. It was like lightweight, but moisturizing. I, I feel like the name is not accurate. Skin or sleeping cream. Sleeping cream to me is like heavy, disgusting, like you don't want it on your face because it's so thick and gross. I did not feel the way that way about this product at all. I would use it day or night. So lightweight, so softening and smooth on the skin. Um, I think the second ingredient is dimethicone. Yeah, it is. So it, it smooths the skin. It is probably a very affordable dupe to something like L'Oreal now, or Olay. You're not gonna get their type of ingredients. Like this is very basic. This doesn't have exfoliants or niacinamide or vitamin C, but it's a great moisturizer. Use a serum to treat and use this to hydrate. Great combination. I will be repurchasing this somewhere, whether I can find it at Marshalls or I buy it online or whatever. I have not seen this in my local CVS, so I'm gonna have to see where I can find it, but great, great. Thing. Next up is the Laneige Cream Skin. This is a peptide toner and moisturizer combo. I really like this. There's a, there's a teeny tiny bit left in there, so it's not gonna go in the empty shirt because I'm gonna finish it, but this is such a great product. I really like it. The Ordinary has recently come out with a dupe for this and they were like right next to each other inside of Sephora. So yeah, I don't know if that was a coincidence, but I picked up the Ordinary one. So if you guys want me to do a side-by-side -side comparison, I can definitely do that for you. And you know, I could do it with this little bit left. So comment down below if you want that ASAP before I use this and get rid of it. But it's a toner and a hydrator. It's kind of a milky consistency. I really like it. As far as toning, what is it really doing? I mean, not a lot. It's not gonna really brighten and lift your skin, but it's hydrating, it's softening. So if you have oily skin or it's you know summer and you live in a humid climate, you can totally just use that and not, you don't need a moisturizer over it. You can go right in with sunscreen over that, or if it's at nighttime and you don't wanna moisturize, you could skip it because this really does kind of have it all in one. So I really like that. Recommend it. It's expensive. So I'm going to, I'm going to do a side by side from the ordinary. Let's, let's really see. Cause I think the Laneige is like $40. All right. Up next is a shaving cream that I've been using. This is the Gillette Foamy Sensitive Skin. Now, why is it sensitive compared to the original? I'm not really sure because this has fragrance in it. So does the other one. So I think it's just marketing, but they're the same price. So is what it is. I like this. It's very affordable and you know, it just, it, it works to help protect the skin from getting cut or tugging when you're shaving. Shaving is a little harsh on the skin. Body, face, doesn't really matter. It's, it's harsh. So using this just helps with that. Um, and I like to cleanse my skin after I shave, but it, sometimes it's better to do it before just so that it's clean and you kind of remove debris and oil and stuff like that but you kind of want to wash your face also after just to make sure you get all this off so just depends on your skin but i did like this one to a sunscreen i only have one empty but i'm on the verge of emptying out two other sunscreens so stay tuned for those one of them of course is my all-time favorite the hot lava i'm almost out with that I'm, I'm like savoring it um but this is the biore uv aqua rich it is a Japanese sunscreen and they recently have kind of reformulated it and given you a bigger bottle. So I always appreciate that with this inflation nation and shrinkflation, they're doing the opposite. So I appreciate that. They're having deflation in a lot of Asian countries right now. So that, that may be where you want to source your stuff because 
it probably will be cheaper. Anyways, really like this. It leaves a glowy skin or glowy look on the skin, which, you know, is not my favorite. I personally like a more natural or even a matte kind of a finish, but I do like this and it's so affordable. If I'm almost to the free shipping on YesStyle, which is where I source all of my Japanese and Korean skincare, if I'm so close to the free shipping, I usually get this because I know I'll use it at some point and it's like $9. So it just gets me, gets me to the point without going so beyond the $50 free shipping mark. But I do like it. Great filters that are not approved or available in the US, but do work really well. And I would say it, it Go, it wears very well under makeup. I don't think it's waterproof. This one, by the way, is the Watery Essence. I know there's a couple different Biore ones. All right, we're gonna jump into hair care. So I went through the Garnier Whole Blends Shampoo and Conditioner. This is the Coconut Oil and Cocoa Butter Remedy. Now this is a sulfate-free formula, um, which I do appreciate. This shampoo, uh, conditioners don't have sulfates, but shampoos do, because they're cleaning the scalp and, and the hair. This has sodium C14-16 olefin sulfonate. So how they say sulfate free and there's a sulfate derivative in there, I'm not sure, but <laughs> well, I'm really trying to get away from sulfates and going to more coconut based uh, cleanser, if you can find it. Sometimes they're crazy money, so be careful. But I avoid sodium laurel sulfate, like the plague. Sodium Laureth, better, not the best. Anyways, these two I liked. I liked the scent. I liked the way that they felt on the skin. I think that they're a pretty good value. I like that they're in a pump. It just makes it easier and mess free. They also have it in a honey, which I love that honey scent also. So I would recommend checking out if you haven't, but you know, it's not the best. I also emptied out, not the shampoo yet, but the conditioner. Uh, the shampoo does have sodium laureth sulfate also, so be aware of that. But this conditioner, this is the L'Oreal Elvive Total Repair Extreme. They have a few different lines in this. They have one for color, one for frizz, um, one that's supposed to be hydrating, and then this is the extreme one. I really like this. It has wheat protein and ceramides. It leaves the skin so soft and so smooth. I really, really like this one. I recommend it. I've used it for a couple years now and it's it's affordable and it's a great option. The shampoo, you know, it does do a right, really good job at getting the scalp cleansed. But again, don't use it every day because it's harsh on your scalp. It's harsh on the hair follicle, but it does a great job at cleaning. And then the conditioner does really restore and hydrate that hair. I also used up this 18th 21 premium hairspray. This one I really like. It works good. It keeps the it keeps the hair. It's in here, so I don't know. Maybe the pump broke. There's like a bunch left in here. I'm not really sure. You know what? I'm not gonna recommend it because it's freaking half full and it's broken. But it smells good and it does keep your hair where it goes, so I don't know. All right, now on to body care. I went through this body wash. This is the Men Dove Care Clean Comfort 24-Hour Moisture. Dove has come out with a more premium line off also, but anyway, Dove has recently, over the past couple of years, gone cruelty-free, and now they've even asked PETA-approved global animal test policy on the back. It used to just say cruelty-free, now they're, they're going all in. So I appreciate that. I'm cruelty-free sulfate free. Let's go. Like this, like the smell, hydrating. It's a good product. Dove can't go wrong. Only alternative is this Axe Fine Fragrance Collection in the scent Golden Mango. Now this was just on a sale, I think, because it's brand new. This is also made by Unilever, which also makes Dove. But this makes no claims about being cruelty free or anything like that. So Axe is a cheaper brand really targeting middle school, high school, and college students. I like the smell. It's not the best body wash. I just get it because it's super duper cheap and it's great to have around. Um, and a lot of times, unless I went to the gym or something like that, I'm not really that dirty. So just kind of need to clean the back to avoid acne. And this does, does the job. I also want to give you guys uh, vitamins that I've been using. So I have been taking the Vitafusion Men's Multivitamin. This just has a bunch of different stuff in it. It gives you some vitamins in here. 
um, E, D, C, A, E, you really have to watch in men because too much E ingested in your diet, not really topically, but in your diet can, has been proven to lead to prostate cancer. So I try to avoid stuff that has it because this is giving you 100% of your daily value and some of your food that you eat will have E. So you don't need to overdo it. But this does have B12, biotin, zinc, and, um, vitamin A, vitamin C. So it has some good stuff in it. I think find a multivitamin that you like and kind of you can't go wrong because there are days that we don't we don't get everything that we need to. Different vitamin, different brand. This is the Sundown Non-GMO Clean Nutrition. These are melatonin gummies. I like to take these if I my sleep, my sleep schedule gets screwed up. I like to take these about the time that I want to be going to bed, a couple nights in a row, and then you will naturally start to be tired at that time of day. Some people say melatonin causes weird dreams or weird stuff. I don't notice that personally. Sometimes it will make me wake up early, but some usually that's just because you're going to bed earlier. So you're gonna wake up earlier, if that makes sense. So once you get your eight hours, your body's kind of like, all right, I'm here. So if you take this and go to bed at 10 p.m., like, yeah, you're probably gonna wake up at, you know, 6, 6.30. So anyways, these are uh, vitamins I was taking and yeah, I would repurchase them. So thank you so much for joining me. Those are all of my empties today. I really do appreciate you watching. and hope that you learned something. Let me know what you are using down below and have you used any of these products? I feel like they're kind of a weird like mismatch of products. It's kind of switched up. I'm trying new stuff. I'm using different stuff. I love the ordinary, but I don't have any empties from them right now. Probably coming soon. Um, but please let me know what you thought about this and stay tuned for our next video. Thank you so much. Peace.